Welcome back to Cox Connections, a program that provides up-to-date information on events that affect you, our customers. Since 1987, Hampton Arts has been educating and inspiring teachers, students, and lifelong learners to embrace the arts. This summer, youngsters will be doing just that with camps such as Fairy Tale Dance Camp, Photography for Young Snappers, and Multimedia Fun. Here to tell us more is Hampton Arts Commission Artist Director Richard M. Pearson, Jr. Hi. Richard, welcome. Thank you. So, Artistic Director, tell me a little bit more about what that means. What do you do? <laughs> Everything. It, um, it's a job that really entails being a, a real big part of the community. Curating, presenting, choosing the season slate that's on at the American Theater, and, and really putting together a season of artists from around the world and around the corner. And um, what is on stage and in your exhibition now? Well, we have at the Charles Taylor Arts Center, which is on Victoria Boulevard in Hampton, we have our Artists Who Teach exhibition, which is um, really teachers from around the Hampton Roads area who are artists in their own right, exhibiting pieces from all sorts of mediums. And we have a whole slate of things coming up for the rest of the season at the American Theater, including uh, jazz legend Eddie Shaw is coming back at the end of April. We have the Hillbenders. Uh, he's fantastic. <laughs> we have the Hillbenders doing a bluegrass version of the Who's Tommy. Um, we have leftover salmon, which is not something that's out of your kitchen, but it's a, a really tremendous alternative rock group coming. Um, and we have Julius Caesar on stage at the end of March from the American Shakespeare Center. Sounds like uh, a wide variety of uh, activities yeah. coming. Tell me a little bit more about the summer camps at the Theater and Arts Center. Yeah, a really big part of our mission at Hampton Arts is to make sure that we're providing arts and education experiences for kids of all ages. So this summer, kids will have an opportunity to either take camp at the American Theater or at the Arts Center, and we have everything ranging from improv, uh, comedy improv for kids, photography for children. We have uh, a theater camp that's being produced by the Virginia Stage Company. We have Fairy Tale Dance Company, a uh, dance camp that's being led by the Rosenlieb Dance Company. Uh, paper mache, drawing, painting, there's something for everything. everybody. Everything. <laughs> yeah, something for everything, uh, for everybody, and it's really a very exciting summer. Sounds fabulous. What a way to uh, encourage creativity yeah. uh, through the arts. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's a huge part of our mission. Um, how can people register or find out more? Well, you can go to our website, which is hamptonarts.net and there's information on all of our summer camps. You can also sign up for our e-newsletter, which will keep you up to date. Um, and uh, if you call the Arts Center or if you call the American Theater, um, I think the numbers are on the screen, then any staff member will direct you to somebody who can give you more information and get you registered. And what's the age range for the children who can participate in the camps? We have camp choices from the itty bitties all the way up to teenagers. So there's a camp for every interest in every medium for every age. Um, Dance camps, Dance camp. improv. improv. I'm trying to visualize, you know, a 12 year old doing you, improv. You would be surprised. They catch on to it very quickly because their minds, unlike the adults, don't have those inhibitions. And they're just open to any sort of uh, comedic suggestion, and their minds process things very quickly. So it's a very exciting uh, opportunity to see those kids in action. And you partner with uh, other partner, community partners. We do. Um, to implement the yeah. camps. See, Tell me a little bit more about that. It's a big part of my job is to get out into the community and to reach out to the arts community, the cultural community, and find ways that we can make the American theater relevant to the Hampton Roads audiences. So we work with the Riddick Dance Company. We work with the Hampton Roads Philharmonic. We work with the Todd Rosenlieb Dance Company, Virginia Stage Company, um, all of these local arts partners who can really help us to make the arts vital for Hampton Roads at the American Theater and the Charles H. Taylor Arts Center. And what is the time frame for the summer camps? We'll start in, we'll start in uh, July and run through the middle of August. And they run at various times of the day. Some are five-day camps, some are three-day camps, some are two-week camps. It really just depends. 
If you also pick up a copy of Diversions, which is our weekly, uh, excuse me, our quarterly publication, you'll see in there our whole wide swath of offerings for the summer and for kids. So remind me again what the website address is? It's hamptonarts.net. And um, is there, do you have a capacity limit for the number of kids who can participate in the camps? We do, but what I want to make sure is that we can get as many kids in as possible. So if we have an over enrollment we'll try to expand the offerings to make sure that we're not turning people away. Well, sounds uh, really wonderful. I know we were talking a little bit earlier about uh, the STEM idea yeah. and turning that into STEAM yeah. because the arts are certainly an important part of uh, creating well-rounded adults. Yeah, absolutely. There's a huge national push for the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics in the schools and in the curriculum. And what a number of arts in education leaders are trying to do is convert STEM to STEAM so that the arts and the humanities are a huge part of that because it engages critical thinking and creativity and self-expression which only make for better engineers and better mathematicians and better scientists. So that's, that's what, something that we think is really vital. Well, thank you, Richard, so much for being here well, thank you. and the great work that you're doing thank engaging you. kids in the arts. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Cox Connections. As always, I want to personally thank you for choosing Cox Communications for your entertainment, information, and communication needs. We know you could have chosen another provider, but because you chose us, we pledge to be a friend you can trust. We promise to provide you with innovative products backed up by a talented local team of professionals that will help you stretch your dollar. And we promise to continue to make a difference in the Hampton Roads community. From all your friends and neighbors here at Cox, we thank you again for joining us on this edition of Cox Connections.